what is it? It's called a very excellent, excellent Mr. Mr. Dundee. Dundee. But it's not a sequel, is it? It's not a Crocodile Dundee. It's not Croc 4. Not Crocodile Dundee 4. Who could forget 3? Um, <laughs> hey, listen. Uh... Was there a 3? <laughs> yeah, there was yeah, a 3. Yes, it was one of the greats. <laughs> one was great, 2 was great, 3 not so much. Oh. Hey, uh, there's been a lot of speculation about this, fuelled yeah. by that big Super Bowl tourism commercial that uh, Chris Hemsworth started and a whole lot of other people. Mm. And a lot of rumours. But look, the best way to describe this film is it's a story about Paul's life where fact kind of meets fiction as Hoags is up for a very big award, a knighthood, in fact, if only he can stay out of trouble. <laughs> you got what me. Could, what could, what could possibly me. go wrong? <laughs> so this morning, our first look at the film, and we'll also hear from Hoags and one of his very famous co-stars who I spoke to on set in St Kilda. Let's get the lowdown on the very excellent Mr Dundee. In the 80s, he was a national treasure. That's a knife. Rising to international stardom. One word. Hoax. And then, he was gone. Now, Hollywood is calling for one last adventure. The very excellent Paul Hogan. It's lovely to see you, yeah, sir. Yeah, it's every five or six years I feel the urge to work. <laughs> you did what? You didn't do anything. I mean, you've got to think about your legacy. My legacy? We ask where the man from Down Under has been hiding. In this movie, you're playing uh, yourself. Yeah. Is that, is that hard to do? <laughs> yeah, it's very hard, you know, because, you know, Paul Hogan is a very intense method actor, and I've got to try and get inside him and find out how he thinks. <laughs> no one's fallen from grace as hard as Paul Hogan. You know, I was pretty upset because I thought Paul Hogan was already dead. Oh. It's a mockumentary, do we call it that? Yeah, it's, it's a movie, but it's in the style of a mockumentary. Yeah. So you're playing Hogs. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's funny right there. That right there. And you're about to get a knighthood. Among other things. You've killed any chance of the knighthood. I don't care about a knighthood. Well, if I was my manager, I wouldn't get into any more trouble. Do the opposite of that. You have a knife, but mine's bigger. That's not the line. Yes, it that's is. not the line. I've been doing this for 20 years. I think I'd know. Oh. All you've got to do is behave yourself and keep out of mischief and for that's a while. It. And, 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 I'm, and, you... and I'm practically Sir Hugs. Sir Hugs. What could possibly go <laughs> what wrong? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Or, or everything. Everything. Yeah. Grandpa, are you getting a knighthood? Uh... Because I told some kids I'm in new school work. I don't have my driver's license. But did you just tell me you left it at home? No, I don't have a driving license. <laughs> don't cancel the knighthood. I promised Lucy. Oh, God. When you've made a couple of the biggest films in cinema history, Hoax, which mm -hmm. you have, yeah, yeah. Croc Dundee, Croc Dundee 2. We'll forget about the others we won't mention them, no. <laughs> How does this compare to that? You know, without saying anything with the director around, you know, it doesn't matter. As long as, as long as I make people laugh, that's all I care about. I was uh, nominated for an Academy Award once. Couldn't have been acting. No offence. Yeah. Oh, Levy! What are you two guys doing next Tuesday night? Playing, playing the role of Olivia Newton-John. Hello. <laughs> How are you? What was it that got you on board this, Liv? Cool. Oh. How does that conversation <laughs> go? Um, please, please, <laughs> Livy. <laughs> I need someone to make me look better than what I am. So what does he do? He gives you a call? Yeah, he called me up. I hung around the house yeah. for weeks <laughs> on end. <you> know. <laughs> that is certainly Paul Hogan. Hey, it's lovely to see you both. Uh, good luck with the film. The very excellent Mr. Dundee, yeah? Yeah, that's the name. It's not a sequel to Crocodile Dundee. No. He, he no, you must have got... He won't play. I'm not really Crocodile Dundee, you know. It's the character I play in the movie. <laughs> uh, looks like a whole lot of fun. The very excellent Mr. Dundee. Hit cinemas on mm. April the, uh, the 30th. Dickie, so. I, heard, I have got contacts in Hollywood. Yeah, um, okay, and, yeah. and I love Paul Hogan, as you know. I, I, I did hear through those contacts that you may be making a guest appearance. Mm. Uh, well, I, 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 do, break. I do play a, a, a small but pivotal uh, role, <laughs> <laughs> role in the extra. film. Yeah, um, yeah, small part in the film. Well, tell us about it. it. Yeah. Well, I, well, there are a lot of great actors, you know, John Cleese, yes. Chevy Chase, Shane Jacobson, Olivia, and a whole lot of others yeah. mm. to be revealed down the track as the promo rolls out. Right. Um, no, I, I play, um, I play myself. Oh, mm. was that a, was that was that a difficult character? It was. I, was there I, a bit of method acting to yeah. it? I, I wanted something that's a little more challenging, to be <laughs> to be frank. But no. um, yeah, which personality say... did you play? <laughs> <laughs> I played sort of, uh, yeah. 
melancholy dicky, you could say. Oh. No, no, I play, I play myself in, yeah. the, in, a, in a work sort of mm. situation. Oh, fantastic. Um, I can't wait to see it. It's going to be great. It's been quite it a is. stretch for you. How much do we love Hoags? Yeah, Seriously. we love yeah. him. He's a national treasure in Olivia and all those people. Yeah. In there. Love, love Hoags. There you go. You're Good on you, my friend. All right, well, well done. What a great so exclusive.